Good morning, everybody. What's up? It's your boy MC from MCTV. We're going to talk about the aftermath of the Javante Tank Davis fight versus Rolando Romero. Now, I didn't put too much thought, emphasis, or energy into this fight. Why? Because I knew automatically, you know, from every. Before I got really deep into boxing, I've always been a boxing fan. But there's one name since I was young that was popping up, and that's Tank Davis's name. I'm talking about when I was in like high school and shit, I was seeing videos of him. Now, over all these years, Tank Davis has held his own all the way through since I even heard of his name first, right? Roly Romero, I just heard of this year. So I, I knew, or last year, or whatever it was, right? I just, from that discrepancy alone, you shouldn't judge based off of that. But that alone just put my bias with the heights of skill that Javante Tank Davis possesses. Like, it skyrocketed. So I just know for a fact that Davis, his skill set has been tried and tested a million times over and proven. I mean, I looked up on Google, his knockout ratio recently, yesterday, before the fight, was 93%. He just knocked Roly Romero out. So his ratio should be higher than 93% right now. It's probably at, what, like 95 96%. Dude's almost at 100% knockout ratio. I mean, we love knockouts in the sport of boxing. And Tank Davis is more than a knockout artist. The knockout artist knocks out knockout artists. You know what I'm saying? He's like the, a knockout legend. You know what I'm saying? In his own weight class, you know, shout out to the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? But it's boxing. It's all boxing. It's all love. You know, so we love the knockouts, the KOs, the KO artists, you know. Um, but the crazy thing about it was, I told y'all, the biggest thing between these two is going to be skill. And the thing I want to point out here is the way that he knocked dude out. I mean, he slipped that punch in after Roly Romero released a combination that he was fresh on, right? In the, in the, in the round just ended. Or I don't know what happened. It was just like nobody seen that shit. I didn't see it. Dude didn't see it. Dude was lost for seconds after that. My whole thing is... Like, it was the weirdest thing ever, just slip a last second punch. Like, it was just, it was like a reflex from Javante Davis that knocked him out. I told y'all it was the skill. To knock somebody out with a simple, quick, last second resort reflex, like a flick? I mean, come on now. That's all that needs to be said, seen, and heard about Tank Davis. Tank Davis is the real deal. Do I believe... Stevenson would give him issues. Do I believe Haney would give him issues? Yes, but do I think that Javante Tank Davis has just enough power, talent, and skill to upset any one of those guys on any given day or night? I really honestly believe and think so. He also still has that mentality, that competitive nature, you know. Could he lose to one of those guys? Yeah. Do I want to throw Ryan in this at all? Hell no. Do I think Ryan is a good specimen? Yes, Ryan's a great specimen. He's just a freaking feline. Okay, that's all it is. Dude's a whole feline. I can't run, ride with that or support that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to Javante Tank Davis for winning. Shout out to Akre TV for pointing out the fact that, you know, Roly Romero at least got in the ring with bro. Unlike Javante Tank Davis pulling out and all this extra clowns-ish. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Roly. You know, shout out to Davis. Davis is just, he's up there, man. He's been up there for a long, long time. And uh, let's see what's next for the man. You know what I'm saying? Now let's focus on Haney. June 6th, everybody. June 6th. Let's get it.